Okay, guys. Before we show, before we show the uh, severance video, uh, we just wanted to explain something to you. Like a lot of people ask us, you know, oh, why are there like three languages being spoken in Bosnia, uh, like Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian? Why are there like you know those uh, separated territories and whatnot? Uh, uh, Bosnia was part of Yugoslavia until '92. Yugoslavia was a bigger country, and. Um, uh, Bosnia, uh, Bosnia got separated from Yugoslavia in 92 and then uh, from 92 to 95 uh, there was this war going on here uh, and um, you know uh, this uh, video about Serbians is related to that because there were a lot of casualties uh, in uh, Serbians in the, near, in the uh, towns that were near there uh, around 8,300 something right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that were found yeah, they were found. Um, they're so, still missing a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, they have found the bodies or the remains for that matter. Um, so, and, you know, when it comes to Bosnia right now, um, it, it's better. The situation is a lot better. Like, I have friends who are, I don't know, Serbs, who are Croats, who are yeah. who are that. Um, and usually, I mean, usually people don't look at that, people don't bring up nationalism or anything related to or religion for example or, or anything, like people just work with each other, people... Yeah, they're trying to do the best of the situation and they, yeah. they, they, want, they just they want to forget the, what happened uh, or what their parents or grandfathers did in this war and they want to be just different. Yeah, most of them will, most but... Of them. Yeah. When it comes to like all the generations, you're still gonna find someone who's saying that Bosnia should belong to Serbia, Bosnia should belong to Croatia, Bosnia should, should be like a, uh, I don't know, it's so messed up. I mean, I don't understand that, although I live here, nor do I try to understand that, because uh, if you don't think about that, you're probably not gonna get involved. But uh, it's not just the uh, older generations. Um, yeah, you can find uh, examples of nationalism, you know, when it comes to like younger people, for example, in high schools and, um, you know, where they, where they got mixed, um, you know, where the students are mixed, for example, you have uh, Croats, you have Bosniaks, you have Serbs, and they all go to like the same school, probably chances are you're gonna find a few cases where there's nationalism. Again, if you're a tourist, if you're coming from a foreign country and you want to live here, don't worry, that's not going to affect you at all, so they don't really care, it's all about... It's just about each other, we, we have just trouble with each other to... Yeah, to live together basically. It's like, yeah, to live together. Um, so again, um, that's why we wanted to bring, bring this topic up, and when it comes to like languages, I know some guy left a comment on one of our videos, he asked us, so... Well, language is spoken in Bosnia. Well, it should be Bosnia, so it should, it should be Bosnian, be. right? It is Bosnian. It is Bosnian, but still, people in some schools you're gonna find Serbian, in some schools you're gonna find Croatian. It's like that. Basically, that's the same language. Ninety-nine point nine yeah. percent does the yes, same language. It's, it's just still from what happened between ninety-two and ninety-five. They just want to separate Bosnia. Yeah, um, you can find. For example, we got three presidents. No, okay. Name me another country that has at least two presidents. There you go. We got three. I mean, come on, it's so messed up, and you know that's all part of the reason why Bosnia is kind of underdeveloped when it comes to uh, like European standards. It's not because of us. It's not because of everyday people. It's because of politicians. It's because of retired people who still look. You know what your nation and what My, nationality you are. Is money like, rules a lot of here. Yeah, in, poli um, in politics, in uh, sports, in everywhere, everywhere, schools or some bigger in institutes or industries. Money, money, money. They don't care who you are. Except if you have money, you, you can do anything here. Yeah, you can, so you can be a, a, uh, I know this channel where how it is, and Winston said not to mention politics or anything. So this is just a little intro. Like I don't want to make make our video about servants so look like you know we're accusing someone. We're trying to like no. It's just we went there. We just want to so, show you what we have seen, and we're just gonna explain to you the historical facts. Yes. A total objective uh, kind of opinion, I guess, and um, that's it, guys. Enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone. How are everyone? 
uh, it's 6 a.m. and we had so less sleep last night and four hours only <laughs> also and uh, in today's episode we are going to the town Srebrenica and unfortunately the town is known for the genocide that happened in the Bosnian war between 92 and 95 yeah, guys, it's, it's going to be a long ride, we're going to take the bus, um, I think, three hours, something like that. Yes. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we'll get back to you later, once we uh, get there. Okay, just a little update here, uh, we're almost there, we have a few kilometers left, uh, it's been two hours since we made the last video, and uh, it's also very hot, and... <laughs> So here we are finally, uh, we reached Srebren Srebrenica and uh, yeah, we're going to give you a little tour here, more or less. Uh, we're going to show what it's all about and yes, And it, it was not a two hour trip, it was, it was a four hour trip and yeah, we, we are going to uh, take a little walk and uh, behind this wall you are going to see what happened in the war. Okay everyone, uh, this is just to show uh, you know, how many people actually were killed here and yeah, we're actually, it's kind of an emotional moment right now, uh, you know, seeing all those, you know, families, yeah. kids, little children. Yeah, this is like, I don't know, it's just to give you an idea how, how you know, how many people die, just take a look at this. Every single one of one of these stones represents a person who, who was killed here. Um, it's just, you know. it's just a part. Uh, on the other side, uh, a plenty of more graves. Yeah. Graves, yeah. So we want to show you something here. This is like a memorial stone, um, and you have written all the names of casualties here. Now, just uh, you know, it's all just important to say that you know this is the total number of casualties, although uh, not all people have been found, um, so yeah, guessing we also wanted to show something to them. Uh, yes, uh, those are the surnames of the uh, dead people, killed people, and those are their names, and as you can see, uh, Alic is the surname, and look how much of them are killed during uh, 92 and 95. A whole family was erased. And on this side you can see uh, the birth date. Now keep in mind that was between 92 and 95. So you, we've seen like uh, you know just you know kids like the birth date was 1980. So they were like 12 years old then. So that's really horrible. And here's a. Uh, Example of a uh, little boy, Ademovic Fatmir, 1980, he was born and uh, yeah, he has at least 12 years when it happened and when he died.
Ja, ma ja sam tu čist. Ajde, tamo sam i noćanici, to je dijelo što sam sat, lutka od djeteta je tako tu. 